hyper aggressive, which is what Ryan Boss is bringing to the battlefield here. Yeah, but has a which is a deck as Frank did mention. Oh, oh, Ryder and Core. Okay, okay, okay. That's the that's the one that prevents protection. And the other guy is 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 casting Gruul. Or is uh, is playing Gruul. These artifacts are free and they draw a card, but they're using this deck. To, I mean, you can check the top of your card or your deck with that to see what if what's coming and fetch is responsible and to give progress right to the creature. You can check the top of the deck of any of yourself or you. You have a fetch line you want yourself, but he wants to suck it already to draw already because he needs the card to end the game fast because this is an aggro deck. <laughs> so it's, it's a cycle spell. Basically, cycling in in magic is very strong because you're making the deck thinner, right? And it gives progress and can give you some info because you can check your top. And I don't like that top, right? Let's say he got one here. I mean, he's let's say he got one here, right? One of these bubbles. He can either because he's an aggro deck, he can suck as much as he wants. He could go with. The other land, the sock land, or the fetch land, right? He doesn't like with has on top, he can fetch and, and shuffle. And it's a way to, to, you know, to increase your chances a little bit, for example. But he did already first turn, so he was like, fuck it, let's use it now and get the progress already. Get that three damage. One mana. And this is similar to what we play in standard, man. That deck in standard. Okay. The deck in standard with a fucking 1 2 flyer. It's just insane. Okay, he's attacking for 2. He's gonna plot something? He's plotting some plots. Okay, that one that has progress, but unlike the Sweet Spear, doesn't have a haste. For Nadu, 2, 3, 9, yeah, he, he, Brian has lethal, probably on the way back, I think Nadu needs to combo, that's the thing, win the coin flip in modern man, you lost the coin flip, unlucky, because Nadu can win this turn, I mean, maybe Brian doesn't have lethal, okay, but, has a scale up, monastery Swiss spear, so scale up, he needs, I mean, I need to know what's on top, right? He can have easily lethal. So it's two. Scale up is plus three, plus three, no? So plus three, plus three, plus four. As out the straw. Is that plus two, plus zero? Double strike. Nah, I'm super dead. He's so fucking dead. Nah, nah, nah. The, honestly, I'm, I'm rooting the aggro deck, dude. I'm rooting the aggro deck, dude. I think that's a bit brainless. I don't think Nadu can combo this turn. Ooh, he's yeah, getting nervous. Yeah, he's dead. Charles is gonna play an island and simply... No! What the fuck? He's a stop, you know, <laughs> Nadu close. Forward. Nadu propaganda, dude. Yeah, he's dead. He's telling him, yeah, you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> the face of the aggro player, I love it. This is how you play aggro in modern, dude. He's like, I'm sorry, kid, but you're just dead. <laughs> You just lost the coin flip, and your best is a strong deck. Look at, look at that, man. It's this oneness of aggro decks, you know? It's this oneness of... He's showing the, his, his, his hand to a, probably a judge, okay? He's not popping off. He's not on the, on the draw. On the draw with the 1-2 might be a bit too slow. But this is the thing about Modern Man, it's winning the, conf, the, the, it's winning the coin flip, the first game. Because the second one, you're going to go on the draw, you win the first one. Right. By the way, Lovely Mountains, I think that's my favorite art in all lands. I don't remember the name of those lands. I think that's, those are my favorite lands. Let me, let me ask. Name of player lands. They're going to tell me, and I'm going to be, oh yeah. XP land. No, that's not the name. Is it? No, no. Is it? No, that's not, that's not a skill. On glue, true, on glue, dude. On glue. Look at this beautiful. Oh my god, that is so beautiful, dude. That is so beautiful. The swamp is just something else. Look at that, dude. 
40 bucks. Only? Look at them, man. And it's just one set of each. Look at them, man. All five cards. Yeah, actually, one set. So you need... Maybe you need five of these, or you need six, depending how many. Yeah, yeah, so beautiful. Look at the forest. Look at the swamp. I love this. It's probably my favorite. Basic land. Anyway, it's good to see an aggro player with some style, you know? Honestly, an aggro player... He's on a pro tour, so he doesn't want to. Was an aggro player... Just bring the worst basic mountains. Because players notice that in GPs. And it's gonna be like, oh my god, these guys are not with basic lands that are trash. Right? And then you get them, you're gonna kill them. <laughs> That's how you do it. You need to play mental games, kids. Okay, this is magic. You, you, you bring the worst. And if they don't match, you have two mountains of one set and another two mountains of another. Better. I don't think now combos yet. The thing is that Brian doesn't have much interaction because normal Brian has a lot of interaction. You can bolt a lot the enemy players' creatures, but this one is just about bumping one. And it's, it's a bit like infect. It's the, you don't infect, you just hit the face. The thing now is that it's a lot of blockers. That's a lot of blockers. But yeah, that's a good thing about the one two. It's a flyer. And gets plus two plus zero. It's no progress. It's better than progress. He's dead, I think. I think he will. He's dead. A scale up. Ah, he has some basic mountains. Why he fetch to basic mountain? You are green. Oh, here's the Sylvan Safekeeper. This is another R for Sylvan Safekeeper. So I don't know if he's dead now. Mistress Bubble plus two plus zero. That's three damage. Because this is not going to be able to. Ah, Scantan. He can. Oh, he had a lot of lands. Never mind. He's checking. Pff, I don't think he has lethal, totally. He's checking to see if he wants to fetch or not. I think he's going to. I think Nadu combos next turn. Yeah, he has Nadu. And he. Court of Calling. But he doesn't have the Suko. So he didn't like his, what he saw. He's going to fetch for three. A scale up. A scale up, that's 6, 8, 10. Wait, 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 wait. He's now at 3. Plus 6, 9. Plus 4, 13. So it's 2 off. Right, I'm cutting it wrong. It's 3. And if it is scale up, it's 5. 2 plus 0. And scale up is three. So he's he's not three. With this will be five. On the other creator controls a, a green worm with base power of only six and four. What the fuck? Okay, I thought it was plus three, plus three. What the fuck is this? Target creature you control becomes a green worm with that can be a little bit confusing. But we are going to What he's saying? Why judge? Why judge what? So two scales up is bad then. He wants to check if the abilities are still... Is. Ah, because he's in Japanese or Chinese. That looks like traditional Chinese actually. Yeah, but doesn't have Trump or anything. So he's turning them into 6-4, but they keep their abilities. So this has flying. So it's a flying 9-12. 12 damage. He goes down to three, I think. See? This thing... These are in the standard. <laughs> I'm losing my voice because that's disgusting, dude. Oh, oh! With the Mitra Bubble! Yes! Get the fuck out! Yes! Wait, he can call for Colin. Hold up, hold up. He can call for Colin. For what? Kitchen things? Get the fuck out. He Mitra Bubble, dude. That's what I was talking to you before. You miss a bubble yourself, and if you like what you see, you don't fetch. You like what you see, you keep it for the for the draw. Because with the miss a bubble, you don't draw. You... Oh, reclam who's called Reclamation Sage? Oh my god. I was expecting four lives. Goes to seven. And then now to four. Knight of Atom. There you go. Reclamation Sage destroys an enchantment. I don't know why. This used to be playing Cyborg for Coco. This, I knew it was for life, and I, 
I know the names. Uh, the names I never remember. Why not say what it does? Yeah, he's, he's cook. No, 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 no. One bolt does it. Come on, draw another bolt. Okay. Yeah, he's dead. Dude, I've never been rooting so, someone so much in, in my life. Let's go, dude. The top decks. Holy shit, what a match. Okay, right, you get starting is good. You need the, the Necrodominance pretty fast. Okay, let's go. Rural Drassi. I would say it's that good of a form of a, of a deck for Negro, but they, are, they almost win last match. So it's going to depend on how much interaction they have. They might. Is that the through the bridge? They might have through the bridge for more. There's a spell that you put, you put a creature in, in the land, in from your land, from your hand in the in the battlefield, and you sack it at the end. It gives you hate. So with the Eldra some Eldras is that have the annihilator and destroy when they attack they destroy lands and whatnot and permanents. It can be very strong. But I don't know if they run that. No, that's not. Yeah, that's through the bridge. That's through the bridge. And it will have been two, three. Do you pay one mana for this? Another lover in there. I, I think we'll be paying on turn three to the bridge. I think it's that's to the bridge. Yeah, yeah, it's through the bridge. See, I told you, like, the reason to go red is through the bridge. Mostly in the current meta. You can go more mid range and have some red and ratchets, but. So he's taking, instead of taking through the rich, he's taking the, the Drachi. Like when he hits the. Because he's a discard with grief, when he hits the library, the, the graveyard goes back to the to the deck. So some people versus me puts this card in their deck in the sideboard. Because when you're versus me, if you mill the Drachi, the, if you mill uh, Big Mama. Your whole graveyard goes back to your library. Okay, the money hits the graveyard, the whole graveyard goes to the library. So you cannot get mill. Basically, you cannot get mill. You need to, on the tree, with the tree or the stack, exile the, the card. And still, you win a turn, I think. And you need to surgical the pulse and raccoon. That's how you do it. But you win so much underneath that card, too, right? Okay, they drew a land. I think this is looking good for right dude. Super famous, one of the most famous, uh, right? Most, most famous uh, players of. Uh, I think it is the face of the you know, kind of. Well, Lucy Club Vargas is, but I know Radio is like that, with the chill guy. Look at the swamps, dude. I have those swamps. Necro Dominance, turn three, just what you want to do. You don't have that ritual in model, so you're going to do it turn one. Which is a shame. <laughs> we need, we need <laughs> Necro Dominance turn. This is Necro Dominance turn three, sometimes you are dead. <laughs> it's just that crazy. But if we compare this with standard, we've been playing. There is Necro Dominance, we're doing Pyrexian Arena turn three, do nothing. But look at Ray Duke, he's just getting his old, his old deck. So we should play around going down to eight. Because you need to choose how many you draw before watching them. Okay, it's not like I draw, I draw. No, no. I said you draw X amount, right? So you need to be careful. For example, versus burn, you're gonna go down to probably you need to stay away from two bolts effects. By the way, the opponent has card in hands because now he could die before casting anything else you pay the life and in your step you may pay any more life you do draw many cards yeah once you pay the life you draw i don't think the the opening card responds to that you can respond to the trigger but then the life is hasn't changed. Karatoga will be putting this, you know. So you draw, Freddy will have the steel. Let's say it's a prom prime in front. Right? Right? We draw, we pay the life, has the done, and then at the end of the step you can you can bulk his face, but Reed's gonna discard a whole bunch of lands. It looks like a grief and maybe a copy of the one ring. So we're gonna head back Kevin's way. Okay, Cothilas command. Very good card. It helps it gives some consistency into Tron. Oh well, this is Gruel Drassi, but also Tron uh, because it creates 0-1 colors Eldrassi that can be sacked for mana. 
So you ramp with this spell. You don't create lands. You don't make lands with this spell, right? Like a ramp spell. But it allows you to ramp and hit that and Rakul or Khan or whatever you want to cast faster. It's pretty strong. And you can also scry, draw. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, this is... I was... I was a bit confused. Uh, like normally you remove it through the reach. But this is why you don't remove through the reach. If he top test this, we'll be already casting on Rakul almost. And almost, but... It will be, it will be scary. Okay, another grief. This is Khan, right? I told you this when I was playing Arena. All the things kind of you know um, find each other's combo pieces and uh, this deck necessarily doesn't do that you just got to draw well, well that uh, <laughs> normally in competitive <laughs> you when you have a, an effect that you what you check opponent's hand you note it down and then you know you note it down this is the kind when they play it, you just list them out but to save time, you can ask your opponent, or your opponent can be like, I can put them on the table like that, so you need to dot them down. You still should not them down, but... Right? And the way you save some, some time. Yeah, yeah, right. This, this deck is... I mean, Negro Dominance, I think, is very strong. Dude. The only problem is Negro Dominance comes turn 3. But you have Grief to discard, Spy to interact. I like this deck a lot. <laughs> Oh, this is right, dude. So we're rooting for him. No offense to Kevin Tanakit. It was a good pronunciation, no? but holds it. He's bringing his Gothilex to the hand. Then. Five cards in hand that are going to be great. yeah see a couple marks there was a one ring just a lot of ways to gain a ton of value and uh it's really awesome to see and then next team on next turn he's dead you know, right. he'll attack with the four five and so the spy with the rest and, uh, well he has eldratches but well. yeah yeah wouldn't surprise you the team he can also have cast on a spell to remove them the this is one spell that deals damage to planes walk of creatures but not the face and then so the spike to the face they've got some ruby storm this that one that was there it's probably checking how many soul spikes he's used. Kind of point, when he's like, oh boy. Like, oh boy. There's three griefs. One soul yeah, spike. Exactly. See, he's checking exactly that. Two soul spikes. So he's dead. Like that, that, Next turn, he can just draw. Red, you can draw everything. Exactly he's going to gain as many lives. With this, you need to pay first, so you're going to draw in, in limitless, okay? Red, you can draw 26, and then he'll regain the life. And go back to hit 26, it's just double. Right? So 52. But he cannot just draw in limitless, right? Okay, not anymore, because he's going to exile that. Red, you, it's not that worry about his 4-5 being exiled, because he probably has lethal. Nothing on the table except an enchantment for three mana. One basic swamp. Some uh, lands that give you even more mana. But he probably has lethal. This is a, one of these spell lands. Oh, he's gonna cast another one. No, ah, it's a ring. I mean, the opponent doesn't have anything, dude. Like, I think that Red Duke can just chill for one more turn. To draw a large amount of cards, but of course you don't want to get too carried away with the crack. But it gives you protection versus other players. Uh, because it gives you has proof, but yeah. doesn't give you protection versus yourself killing yourself kind of with Necro Dominance, okay? Reed, so. You can still die to that. You are your own worst enemy, right? Type of thing. Come on, right dude. Choose all spikes. You're blessed by the MTG gods. Does Necrodominance? Does the Ponza skill? I don't see Soul Spikes. Fuck me. I think that Radiuk has been historically one of the most famous players and better best players of this game. And also historically unlucky. I don't know why, but all the GPs are winning it was, oh my god, Radiuk. For example, in Madrid there was an, a three, three players event. I think he was there. Yeah. I don't know if he got to the top 8 or top 40 because he was a, a, a team event, he was a top 4. Okay, that's you can remove the, the Eldratchis with one of those cards. That one. 
<laughs> Look at the hand! This, this deck is so fun, dude. It's disgusting. Checks notes. Oh, yeah, it dies. I'll put it in the graveyard. Okay. Not bad. Oh, it's not gas. What about this? Damage to entire creature or planeswalker? To only one? You can say that sentence. I'm gonna march your devourer for 18. And it just feels like honest. The same? That's the only blame? With all he drew? Okay, Reed, you're very nice. Again, he's chill. He doesn't need to. What can he, he needs to draw? A bigger Drathi and a through the bridge. He will have Karn. Why he has Karn in his list? Oh, I should check his list. It's just not working. Okay, no? Kevin. Anyway, uh, while we're searching, I don't even know anymore, right? Has <laughs> Alice Dust, Thorn of Seer. I was thinking it has can, he doesn't have can, it's more mid rangey, more creature heavy and through the reach. I'm saying mid rangey and through the reach a bit weird because through the reach typically is being a combo deck. But stop being using combo decks and use use for value. Like through the reach, Titan, through the reach. Any value, right, type of deck with a lot of mana will just put in through the reach. As over as this game feels, that's still a really powerful effect. If you're it able is. to take, you know, I guess you don't even take the extra turn, huh? Never mind. Yeah, even with an extra turn, <laughs> oh, you can draw, you can kill your opponent with an extra turn. Oh, no, 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 you cannot pay more life than you, you don't have. But you can cast Orthis to the face. You can draw your entire labyrinth and cast Orthis to the face with a Rancor. I think, I think you can kill. His opponent? Can you, can you Ortiz yourself? Whenever it enters a bad different and whenever an opening draws, one damage to any target. You can kill yourself there. Okay. You control the turn. Okay, the ring will give him protection, so uh, Raidu cannot win this turn. Woof, it's starting to get complicated now, man. He starts uh, chaining rings. Yeah, I guess the ring is the out. I think the, the ring the ring is the out, I guess. Yeah, it has four rings. The, the problem of the ring is it's one turn and he draws. Right? It's like big deal, right? Yeah, but he can chain another ring, another ring, and gain protection on these turns. So Radio can kill them. Now, Radio can just start killing their fucking lands, for example. Right? So I think Radio should be chill, but. But he's kind of preparing this to the win, right? Uh, he, didn't, he didn't draw the soul spice, it was it. Now with the soul, with the ring he cannot kill him, but he'll wait he'll wait for one more turn. I think he's gonna uh, go? No Ponza, nothing? Ends the turn but does not activate, doesn't draw any more. Loses one life because of the ring. See another ring. No, he's a true life. I know he does have a second bow master, so if that uh, ring turns sideways, which it looks like it has to be, but he cannot draw the field is gonna be good enough before activating the other ring because he'll, he'll the bow master will kill him. He needs to cast the other ring and then activate some more time. Yeah, it's interesting because you. you Okay, well, Reed says I have two bowmasters, which is gonna make. Yeah, it exactly. Easier. I was uh, what I was gonna say there was it was interesting to see how. And the ring, the thing is, he cast the other one, he draws. Other bowmaster will damage him, and then when he out taps, the ring will damage him and kill by the ring. Not going all in when I think other players might. Yeah, I think it just really led me to the assumption that well, he's got it. You know, he's got it locked up. It's just wait for your opponent. So yeah. And Kevin had to blink first the the entire time. Yeah, with two damage, what's going on? That's why Red Duke. I was surprised by Red Duke not doing anything. He knew already. Okay, he's a great player. Okay. It was like I was like maybe he tries to Bonza. Bonza is destroy a land type of deck. It used to be a super old deck, and now the effect is called Bonza. He could have destroyed a land or something like that, but Red Duke was like, no, I have I have this. Even if he draws another another ring, I'm fine. Do his thing with mono black necro against Kevin. Who's trying to get something going here in game number two? Kicking things off with a pregame. Okay, that he's just signing a throne of sin is good. That he's casting a drastic temple turn one is bad. But Red Duke has that doesn't it's cotilex, so it's cost three or less. Doesn't hit throne of seer. I can remove the 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 steerings that search for colorless and lands, no? Nice card though in this deck. I mean, already just the payoff. Sorry, guys, I'm, I haven't been exiled to Ugin's Labyrinth. Just mm, MTG in a while. What's called the cards for your a string? Uh, no, he searches for lands normally, but yeah, I will remove the amulet too to slow him down. Um, 
and the bits and strings are not card combo deck where you do have to find a way to assemble the combo otherwise your deck uh, doesn't do a lot yep an Eldrazi Temple and a Grove. I think you can search for. This is where Kevin's gonna start things. You saw I think you can search for like Eldrazi's without you. No, only lands. Normally it's used for lands. Off the card that may be making a bit of a return to modern, given all the combo decks that are running around. Swamp go. We're just gonna play a swamp and pass the turn back over to Kevin. See if Kevin's got anything. Ancient Stirrings. Holy shit. Last game was a bit of a bummer. Reed kind of tore Kevin's hand. There you go, man. The name, man. Uh, five. How many times used to be. There you go. Now you cast it. Do the five cards. You might reveal a colorless exile from on and put it in your hand. Yeah. Put the rest of the bottom. This is like um, to search oh, for the stuff, right? Just an internal tick timer going okay, you, you can get the ring too with this. <laughs> you can get the ring, you can get the Drathis, you can get lands. Interesting. You can get the ring now too with this, dude. This card is super good. Look at that, come on. This type of card that allows you to search, to dig through the through the library is super strong in my... <laughs> I control wish they had this from one mana. Bose you to destroy the Necrodominance. Okay? You can also destroy the ring, but... The problem... Reindeer... They're probably... Yeah. The problem was going to cast Necrodominance, now he's going to untap and cast Grief. Or if he casts Necrodominance, it means that he has two. Also, the Bose is going to keep Reindeer Galan. Well, that is going to be the most relevant thing, but it's going to enable the destroying land event, uh, destroying land spell faster. Up there, and I did also see a veil of summer uh, in hand for Kevin. Well, what we're seeing here from Reed is a copy of Break the Ice. That one. This is a new button. All right, over now, I don't think you are casting. So, I'm, what I just say doesn't make sense. Right? Destroy target land that is snow or could produce. Colorless, and I say new in so far as this is not the overload is just too much mana. No, are you still giving them free mana or no? Forward, it appears. Yeah, I mean, every single black deck that we've seen. Oh, yeah, I love this card. I love, I love land destroying, honestly. That's why I play taxes. I love destroying lands because you destroy a creature, that creature doesn't attack you, but the opponent will create another creature. Now, you destroy a land, sure, the player can cast another land, he can play another land rather. But he cannot cast anything when he doesn't have any land, right? Well, then it, now it's grief and there's a lot of things you can convoke and all that, but it's a, it's a hard lock, okay? Like, the ultimate hard lock is leaving your player with the enemy player with no lands. He can have all the cards he wants. If they don't have lands, they can do much, right? Some things you can do still, but not much. So, the Reindeer knows that he's Bosillo, I don't know if he has... Uh, than they previously were. Yeah, they got a little supercharged. That's for Necro sure. Dominance. Summer, when he kept the hand, card, yeah. we hit another one. Look at the Orthis, how good they are versus, uh, versus the One Ring. And the One Ring, Tron and Eldrathi decks need One Ring. Normally they cast it turn three. No, not normally, but with the Labyrinth cast it turn three. And they rely a lot on the Ring to win matchups and to grind out matchups. But the Orthis Bowmaster are just so good versus the Ring, dude. Which is kind of lore friendly, right? That the Orthis Bowmasters hit you in the face and you try to mess up with the Ring. So it's pretty cool. Interaction. I love the Orthis Bowmasters, honestly, man. Fucking fun car, man. So yeah, pretty cool. Far less explosive than it was in the last one. Yep, nothing too amazing. Yeah, Reindeer is just... Be the Necrodominance turn. So if we don't you, I have Land Destruction, I have the Orthis Bowmasters. And, uh, soul spike in the face? Sad, uh, flip side of no, no, it cannot be soul spike. That's the enchant, enchant what? What's that card, dude? And, uh, Sorry, guys. A decent clock if Kevin oh, but, like it doesn't make sense. He has the ring. The the, the troller. Excited to play graveyard. That's it. Okay, I'm sorry, guys. What? Oh, okay, that's a little. It's a little bit more than five. Yeah, it was a little bit more than five. Now this won't grow up when he draws. There's a final sun, no. This roads when this is in play. This is what amass. This is this is what creates the tokens and increases it. So he has this still in play? I guess it's a creature. I guess you need to you know beat down. Let me see if I find right deck. 
uh, in Reed's hand there to be able to clear off the attacker and still get some beatdowns going, you know. Six coming in here, the ring dealing two, eight damage. Dude, the, the Awakening is kind of cool to return creatures okay. from Graveyard. So if there's a good card in hand now, we're going to take it. But then, of course, there is still going to be four cards that Kevin's going to be able to see and a bunch of rings to give more protection. Kevin's is still looking very good here. Yeah, Kevin's got some time to work yeah. with in this game, given the hand. You mentioned the copies of the one ring. There are two there. Of course, there's also the one. Ah, that this, is, Another this is a, I'm stupid dude. with this thing on the top. This is a so spell so land. Those land that are flip. On the other side, this a land. No? Uh, where's the creatures? Uh, Bogart Traveler, exactly. It's a land too. So in modern right now, you have this land that are spells, and there are also lands, and you choose. So, the then Taxes has one for four mana, destroy target enchantment. But it's also a plane, and so when you come into play, you pay three, and it comes on top. Three life. You know, you take three. So, that's why the lands are 11, they're very low amount of lands. We have four more. They're still low, but... You just need three for Necrodominance, right? It's super low, dude, 11. And also you have uh, Urbog, to be fair. And Perixen Tower, so... He just casts Grief. It's full cost. But notably, does not leave up green mana. Yeah. Uh, green has yeah. a lot of good cards right now. I don't know why they don't tell you the hand permanently, man. Yeah, we see the ring already, okay? And this foil is beautiful and won't deny it. We need to see the hands. Well, say you, yeah. The answer to Necronominance. Yeah, look how much the ring, nah, the ring is just too good, dude. Look how good the ring was this game that I don't came in to draw so many so many cards if, uh, you know they're not trying to do too much so and then all of a sudden i want you to remove the the bow master the main one so you can you cannot amass you're gonna do more damage every time you draw so it's not such a big deal he's gonna take two and then they play that on turn three next upkeep he's looking for through the bridge and he's not getting it right you're getting some luck here to be fair he's drawing a lot man he's not fighting through the reach so again it's combo decks and combo pieces have this right that's to he's excelling this on the the labyrinth this is annoying to have it there all the time so you can discuss two or can tap for two mana instead of one okay that's still in concern right do it that much kevin could cast another ring Kevin's hand is just, as you can imagine, with drawing this many cards off the one ring, absolutely. There you go. That's another ring. Yeah, you have to assume something powerful is coming. Because if it wasn't a Drazi, it would be one, two, three, four, five. Uh, back on a little bit of a reset here. He's gonna draw again. Now he will take one damage next upkeep. He's trying to dig and get through the bridge to. Great look at Kevin's hand at this stage, but. You have to imagine to try to some goodies in there. Yeah, to lock like this match, but right for hand, two I'm mana, like that land so it's just gives you so one damage, so he casts <laughs> green or okay. He, you need to pay mana to even if it's colorless. I don't know, he doesn't give colorless, he's just no, we very well might see that. No, I don't remember this land. Sorry, guys. And yeah, he paid he pay green, so that's why he paid one mana. Green. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I, I, I didn't know this is thief of existence. This is red or green mana, but you need to pay one life. It's all on creature. Huh. Okay. To remove rings, to remove the necrodominance. Pretty fucking decent, dude. Pretty fucking decent. And three mana, but with this table there, you can cast it on two. The ring comes on four, but you're on the draw. You want to deal with, I don't know. Uh, rail from storm or an artifact about turning the ring sideways you know like uh, you have a storm to no, my concern a ruby for, for Kevin, you know, the life it's decent the... i know in mean, this match in particular this probably is real is cyborg no game action is another it's cyborg and that is a that is the concern i have from the booth here yeah like two in cyborg where kevin has to so makes sense very good in this through the breach so it's not a problem he brings it to, to have more interaction. Really, really Turn two to remove Suko. Normally they don't expect that, right? 
turn 2, the, 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 the card is so good and Nadu to then on tap next turn and win through the bridge. Oh my god, Radio is gonna lose this. Then Rakul. It's one of the best artists to through the bridge. Honestly, that adding through the bridge is insane. I like this one. Which I don't know what's going on. This is like a web or something. It's kind of weird. But it's kind of cool at the same time. But this art is just amazing. Reed has for that you traditionally well what who's gonna do really not had <laughs> oh this is cute. oh this is oh. incredible so a malakir the creator you lose to life and they're not doing a creator games when this creator dies and doing the battlefield tap on the sound of control and he's doing griffin's response oh my god let's see if kevin has a response Oh my god, I didn't know about this. So with this, they can target grief, kill it, and instant speed, exile another card from the hand. Okay, I don't know what fucking Enrakul is that. Yes. Ah, it's Ulamo. Okay, okay, okay. It's just a new art. As in, I do not think Reed is really going to have any okay. permanence after this, but it'll be down to knock so, off of the deck if Soul Spike's there. When attacks, he has an Annihilator, I think, and if he opening is to exile X amount of permanence equal to the Annihilator that uh, Ulamo has. Easy, G. Easy, G. That's why with through the bridge, one something with Annihilator, something when it enters because most Eldrazi's have when you cast exile X amount like. Uh, the war eater and whatnot. So what you want is something like the moment, right? You attack with it, with through the bridge against haste. You 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 exile permanent. Cavens is pretty strong. Does he have two on the draw or one? Only one in main. Not today. Sorry, bud. Get those graveyards out of there on another day. No, two. Two in main. Like, normally, I think it's one and one in cyber. He did win for two in main. Gemstone Caverns. So, Kevin is on the draw, but because of, of the Caverns, uh, he doesn't have that disadvantage. Right? And now it looks like he's on the play, and that's the strong of the Caverns, dude. Combo Dex have used it. Now Tron is using it. I think Nado uses it, too. We haven't seen it yet. All right, it's called Dark Stalker or something like that. Oh, this could go. Oh, oh, oh boy. Oh, no. Oh, this could go. This could go real bad. This could go real bad. Which is going to be. It's going to be a, a clock. Oh, boy. We have seen this a little bit. Oh, is this a veil to uh, prevent it? That's a okay. pretty good card to have right now. Ooh, doggy. The Void Walker. Shadow, so he cannot be blocked, basically. Exiled with Bog Condor in it. Especially control coming Condor Stone. It's his proof from blue and from black. You and permanent, so it's anti the land destruction. Basically. As well as another veil. Basically, it's anti last uh, anti the land destruction, I would say. He's using it for that purpose. From Kevin. Also, to, to avoid, I don't know, killing Thornos here and stuff like that, I guess. About the of cards, but Kevin right? When he cast it. Veil of Summer. Dude, it's the first time I see this card. And given the high no joke. Upside play potentially for Reed. So Reed the creature right you get cast is, is a stamp on this deck, okay? Yeah, that is definitely one way to. Uh, oh, there it is, and I do not see an answer for that. Necrodominance, turn three. Yeah, as big of a. That's pretty strong. As big of a blowout as that veil was with grief there, as you lose two cards and get griefed, it just doesn't matter when you have necro necrodominance nope. here. It does not at all. So. Reed is going to pay 12 life. That's the amount that we saw him pay in game number one. It was so nice. He's going to do it twice. He's down to eight. And let's see what he can put together here. Now, remember, maximum hand size is five, so he's got to take that into the equation. If he does have a soul spike, you have to imagine he's going to send 16 it life. Kevin's face. It's four damage so per spike. It's going to be very hard for Ray Duke to draw four of them. We saw so well, he's going to just set up for. Next turn, get a land, get Seldred, and then draw as much 
the game where he did the thing. And I you mean like two turns though? At least. So there it is at our front. And there is the soul spike. Corey, originally from what set? Soul okay, spike. one soul spike. Oh, it, oh. It's the one with uh, Oren Viper. Cold snap? Oh, thank goodness. Okay. <laughs> There he is. See the rings in hands of Radiuk? The thing about rings is, is if you get through the reads, doesn't matter that much. TBH. It is a cold snap one. Good job by you. Proud thank of you. you. Thank you. Proud I you. am really bad at what set these cards were from. I must say. So uh, I guess I'll improve over the. And the throne of here. I used to play this, man. I used to play this. It just feels so bad when your opponent you exhale one card, card and when this dies, instead of returning that card, you just get a random card, you just draw. Card, which is very strong. Yep. You are welcome to look at my hand. I don't really mind. Oh, but the problem is turn three on the draw, again, with currents, is a bit better. Be able to deal with the but on the draw, sometimes uh, it came a bit slow in this meta. Pretty tough here for Kevin. So the list, I think the list here is wrong, man. I don't see the boy Walker in Red Dukes. I'm, I'm blind? Exactly what Reed is working with, but Reed has found yeah, the same card. Reed doesn't have Boy Walker. So 16, 22, <laughs> Very much so. 41, 49. Yeah, this is it. I, I, I don't know. The list is wrong. So this one is destroy all creatures that enter the battlefield. This I don't see the list. Oh, re reduce list on the, on the side as well. The Thorn of Seer has two triggers. One when it dies, one when it enters. And when you kill it as it enters, can be tricky. We want to thank Steven Zwanger. The judge on the call there for very clear communication from all players as we got our game state back where it needed to be. Judge, can it do from Rona? Okay, he overpay. He thought he was doing solid spike. So he overpay and he drew. Right? So he missed, he paid more. Right? Take one card, you're no matter what gonna break that up outside of a top deck. So we're gonna discard a couple of cards because it's pretty cool, man. You can You can cast the exile cards with the boy walker, it's pretty cool card. Okay, now maybe we see again the, the interaction. So this is looking bad for right here. So there's a trigger and when he enters, you reveal the hand and take something, right? Kills it, draws, and then you saw the hand. This deck and all its free spells. Oh, I love it. Jeez. <laughs> so, Force of Despair resolves. Thought not dies. Yeah, so that's dead. Reason you draw, ready to draw. The thought not triggered. And then you saw. Still there, which is look at your hand, which is yeah, and exile one card forever. And that one goes forever. The card for Reed resolves first because the thought not is dead. So now that Reed has drawn a card. No, he drew already. He's just revealing on this card. This is how it works. So it's the I don't know what happened before. Sorry, guys, for missing it. So how it works is you cast the Throne of Seer, trigger, reveal the card on this card. You can react to that, and you kill Throne of Seer. It dies. The trigger, when it dies, it starts, right? You draw a card, and then the trigger that was before, because triggers go, like, on a pile. First of all, trigger and enters. Then you kill it, is when it exits, no? When it dies, when you exit the battlefield, then you draw. So resolve the draw, and then resolve the the trigger when it enters. That is exile a card, and that one is for forever because the the exit is gone now. And with the spell killer, what you can do, or with Thornos here too, you can bounce the killer. So it enters with the trigger on the stack of Thornos here, right? For example, Thornos here, trigger on the stack of enters. You say no, oh, no, 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 don't remain in the hand. Trigger on the stack, I displace it. Or flicker wisp it. They wanna say flicker wisp because it's easier. You exile it, okay? Open and draws a card, and then reveals the hand, and you take anything. And whatever it takes is gone forever. Because by the time the, the Eldrassi comes again, Thaun is here. By the time it comes again, uh, it's a new Thaun is here. So it's gonna re it's gonna enter. You, you choose anything from the hand. And remove it, right? And then if he dies, you draw. But the first one is gone forever. So it's pretty cool with displays here, with flickers, with shit like that. That's why I used to be playing Eldrassian taxes. Something like this. You can do flicker wisp with that, displays with that, with Keller. No, with Keller, you don't play with this cooler, for example. Let's go. Who will see Living End 5 on 1, dude? Because people were playing Living End with 
that much interaction in the format is the type of day that it can be very explosive. You, you have you're lucky, but hey, the you're lucky is part of the format. Yeah, you need to be lucky to be in even part of the game. You need to be lucky to be up there, and also good, obviously. Honestly, in this normally in living in. I would hate it, but in this format, better than Nadu, fuck Living End, fuck Nadu, right? Over Living End. Uh, I was thinking that it's round 7, so I guess it has to be round 8 rounds. I think it's 8 rounds. Okay. I would say it's the day 1. Then day 2. I don't know if 2 more is the top 8. Guess it's on Sunday. Ooh, basic island. Still wide, still seen play. Speed to life and you cycle. Used to be playing that saddle. It's kind of like the, the deck that popularized it. Because you draw, you cycle, you make the, the deck thinner and you boost your saddle, right? Or else you to cast it. Who is it to cast a saddle for four turn one and then on top? And some people have double strike and sit and have lethal <laughs> turn one, turn two, or turn three. And so far, he's proving that maybe you can still play what you like in modern. Yeah, well, it looks like it. Ring, ice game two. Dude, even now, plays ring. Holy shit. That car is gonna. They're probably banning the ring. A lot of people spend all the money. That's the thing with magic, man. You cannot fuck around with people in bed. Because they ban the ring, it holds some value, but you're gonna fuck and make a lot of people angry. But really, the biggest reason is just having access to that Bowmaster. Oh, Griff is such a good card. See, that guy. All the decks used in Modern uh, Horizons 3 set, right? In one, more ways and less, but. And one ring is not from that, but. Let me see what the living, rain, living end version is. Yeah, so I'll, let me show you the spell. The villain, the idea is you cascade it. That's why it has this spell to cascade. Right. Ooh, four villain. Suspend, it's play. A card from graveyard and sacrifice a creature. I don't remember the deck, though. it's been very... Suspend, yeah exactly, because you suspend, there you go. You, you, because you suspend, this has no cost. So you can cascade into living end, and the deck is meant to have no cost on their three, there's the cascade. See, this is four. So every time you cascade, you hit living end. And then you bring... You just uh, destroy the board. And put all the creatures that he's been cycling, like Street Raid and all that. Right? So that's how the deck works, is start remembering. But, has Grief now with you? Grief, you exile it. I ah, know, you sacrifice it, you exile the dismember. So Grief is pretty good. Grief is coming back, dude. Cascade, there you go. GG. I think it's GG. Oh, for some negation? I think he didn't have any, no? He top decker? Yeah, and the battlefield. Exile a black port, but the grief is not exile, only the other black. What is he asking about the cascade? Yeah, you now with the cascade, you cast a spell, then you exile the top cards until you hit a spell with less cost than three. Or one. Or the cost less than these three. There you go. I think you have to say cascade three, but no. Than this. So the only spell that he is going to be able to cast is living it. And that's how the combo works. Right. 
I, I, I wonder what yeah. he might be asking. Let's say the living ends on the stack. Yes. And then I go, Port of Calling, put Drenis in play, Drenis Magistrate. What, what does the. I don't know how rolls work. At least he's trying to ask if he can with this on a stack. Ah, no, if he can with the living end on the stack. I mean, he's only gonna cast living end, so might as well do it now. Yeah, yeah, it's better to do it now. I know what he's trying to get fancy here. I mean, they're not pro tour. It's worth considering, right? The number of Turkish 5 1, let's use the Jats. Nothing wrong against that. But he does, this deck doesn't cascade into anything else at the living end. It's been like that for 10 years. I will bet my right ball on that. Which, as much as I love my right ball, I think it's just like 90.9999. You want to cascade into anything else. That's why the whole deck has street wides and cycling that is more than 3 mana. This member is 3 mana. Yeah, the opening can cast experiences other than their hands. Well, I mean, the, this card is new. I thought we were talking about the artifact they have. The problem with the artifact is he cannot cord it. Dude, now they so resilient, what the fuck? This is the problem of, of green combo decks. This is the problem of green combo decks. They have short. And you can have a combo deck like Storm, you eat the hate. But having a tutor instant speed like this... That use creatures to cast it. Really one of the big benefits of playing these Nadu decks is you have an instant speed toolbox that you can access. You see, it's only living it. And you can hear Sodomirsky there say, I will not cast this. Shuffles the two cards together. Would you like to cast? Would you like to randomize these two cards? And they both go to the low decks. Yeah. All right. And on tabs, he's going to have less resources now. But do you want the, the Dark Reef? Uh, but... The Living Empire is going to need another Cascade spell. Dude, give me his hand. I forgot his hand. It's, uh, it's not on his Has Living End? He can suspend Living End. I think it's three turns. Some sub play, you know? But it's not about black for that, so no. This Living End version has... I've seen Living End versions just suspend it whenever they counter the Cascade. With the Living End, you need to counter this Cascade so it doesn't cast the Living End for free. Right, and Living End is meant to be played as a Suspend, so... It gives so much time that... Right, the Suspend takes every turn until it goes, goes off that... It's supposed to be a bad card because of that. But you can Cascade it. All the sudden, you know, you cast living in whenever you want. You build the entire deck around that. That's the beauty of modern decks. He's gonna cast one ring. Which... I mean, he's gonna force a negation. Dude, so much interaction. Modern is now legacy. Modern is legacy, point two, dude. Pff, I love it. I love this one. Used to be modern, used to be... The problem is that the meta is thinner, more things impacted too much, everything. But honestly, there's more interaction with for, with yeah. force of negation and. Okay, down a little bit here. I don't know, man. Just needs to find it's more co button. with the subtlety, with. This, everyone is interacting more, dude. Countering, countering that, countering this. It feels like so legacy. It's a bit slower, but. He's counting creatures and mana. I got off his hand. Enter the battlefield, foot token. For cycling. Okay, he has it for the forest. Is he attacking? He's scoring, but third core? No, he's attacking. He's attacking? He's attacking. Who is it? With combo decks start attacking, it's a bad sign. So he has living in, he could just No, he cannot attack because he has no black mana. Oh my god, both combo decks are stuck without combo. <laughs> then you go from modern that is super high in terms of power to limited power level. Even worse than limited. Like limited in a Friday Night Magic type of power level. <laughs> 
I mean, he's gonna create a lot of plants every turn. I wonder why Thomas doesn't that in fact just block with a 3 2. By the way. Is that 3 2 not the Indian? As we have seen, there are quite a lot of draws. Uh, so the players are trying to make an effort to play quite fast. Yes. Now I think uh, what Daniel's there is doing is. But you what? No, you never attack with us, sir. So. Normally, living island people. He puts it with the FF. Is that 2 2? In the heat, it's not attacking, but the moment he was like. Oh, subtlety. <laughs> this, is a, this is casting subtlety now. I mean, four man is very good. Just now it's gonna be beat down a strategy for everyone. So you're gonna block a token. <laughs> See what I mean? This is limitless now. This is limitless uh, power level. Dude. It's kind of funny, man. With modern, modern combo decks, can combo and they need to play actual magic. It's always funny. Oh, he's gonna go? No, no, he's gonna see you. We'll see you what? We'll see these balls? No, he's gonna go. I was like, what? What's he gonna go for now? After the blocking. Okay, he was waiting the attacks, and now he saw the we'll see you. Oh, now he saw, sorry, the subtle TV, but I might as well do it now. Hey, he, he, he got the bait. Only can blame Thomas, man. Three cards in 20 cards. It's pretty disgusting. <laughs> ah, he's activating this to draw. The point you cannot activate it multiple times. You can untap the land. So, like the Suko, uh, he gets as fast as, as that. Okay, can he fetch for black? No. To suspend. Honestly, Living Land relies a lot and the Cascade not getting counter. Wait, he misplayed, no? He didn't counter the chore. Thomas. Because he has all these subtleties in hand. He should have counter the chore, no? No, he probably didn't have it. I mean, it's an obvious play. O sea, this card I know already, and I haven't been playing modern, so Thomas has to know about that card. It's a one-off in cyborgs, but that doesn't mean try to focus on hate on living end. But if you are casting spells without paying anything, you're gonna get hate in this meta. So you need to know the hate, right? Eh? Okay, that was a surveillance after the fetch, wall or roots. Uh, you know what you want to see? You want to see Suko. Suka Bliat! But... Whenever... Tario for spell or ability. You could... He's gonna core again? Get the fuck out, you draw another core. He's core again. The fourth core. Ah, oh, no, he's attacking. Okay, okay, okay. Dude, he's attacking even with the... <laughs> even with Nadu. It's a 3-4 flyer, dude. Again, doesn't need to be a 3-4 flyer. It should be a 2-1. With that ability. See, sí, that's what I mean. Like, the agent doesn't have any value once it's cast. Okay, the beat down plan, I was laughing at it, but that's cool. It's getting real. And this is the black. This is the four color. The black for the orcs. The orc. Okay, this is a good play. Okay, never mind. He had an untap land, so he's gonna cast it again. I was saying it was good because if you top the cascade, you win, but. And there's not one. It's three mana for that land. It's a spell that's three, three mana. You bounce something. On the other side, it's a flip land, I guess. You pay three mana and it comes on tap. Dude, the street white is so good. Honestly, Living Land is cool deck, dude. With all this, with all this blue now. No wonder he's 5 1. Well, actually, really was the, uh, the Counter to the combos and you combo yourself. There's not much interaction. That one, 3 only. I guess you're gonna need to exactly get in this member now. And be ready for that. So when that courts, before letting us hold your own spell, the cascade, you just dismember it. 
but then kind of shroud it. Again, a lot of interaction in this format. I don't like it because it makes it puts all the other decks away. It's gonna create new decks too, like this living in, and it's been a deck for a while, but it's turned down now for the format. But I think it's pushing too much away. I would like to play some humans and other taxes, but the humans can play the shroud. Human that Nadu plays can play the uh, whatever of souls, guide of souls that the Boro deck plays. Can play Magus, Magus of the Moon in the main board. But the, see, Thox side, I mean, Thox side in combo is fine. See, he has, he has this member to beat the core. And then, no much else, what's that? Waker of. What the fuck is that? Wake it off. What the fuck is that? One piece of disruption, but not two. You would take a dismember. But I think as is Wake it off waves. Is that the land spell? No. If there's your brain control against minus one, minus zero. And say this will slow you down enough. The ah, this card, you get the top cards. Okay, scry two. And the other one in the graveyard, so survive two, kinda. Again, high cost, so you don't cascade into it, but cycling effect. And I guess because this version plays blue, you play that. Oh, I think other living lands didn't play for that. Okay, uh, Thomas needs a land. You need a land. And I'll go for the land, Thomas. Believe in the power of the cards. There you go, cycle. One to the graveyard. Another cycling, not bad. But at the same time, you could put that in graveyard to cascade it, to get the living end. This is what he did. The status things are play. I self cast the status things in a standard. I'm not gonna deny it. it just both been I did it. Okay, has two dismembers. Cycle. Land. I'm rooting for the living and I can't believe it. Just... <laughs> this is what this format does, dude. <laughs> rooting for living and I have to be. I will die. Ten years ago, I will be like, fuck that. I'm not rooting for living and But versus now, dude. So. He needs to wait one turn now. What's he gonna do? Dismember that. Yeah, to, to cripple the mana. Dismember that is like destroying a land, so it's good. It's slowing down the Nadu opponent. And now if he has one dismember open. The point is he cannot live in end into and dismember the same turn. Right? He cannot cascade and dismember the same turn because he has two mana. But uh, Daniel can court. Has no creatures in, in, in play. I wouldn't say he can core. He can dismember this even. And D Daniel knows that uh, Thomas has this member. Which member? Yeah. I oh, know he's not gonna dismember this wall of roots. This, I have a wall of roots somewhere. This is one of the, one of the oldest cards. Put a counter on it and add mana pool. Only on one such turn. Choose a mana dork. But you don't need to tap. It's zero five. And then Tomash will, I believe, with a blue card, which I think he has. Yeah, you just. It. And then Daniel will need you just go for it. What? That's Cascade, no? I don't know what card is that. Where? 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 I cannot fail, right? I didn't play a Cascade. Three mana. Again. He cannot Cascade into anything else that's not living in. Actually, I play with a living in player. I play into a living in player, and he Cascade into another spell that wasn't living in. And was like, whoops. <laughs> but he's dead. Right, yeah. So they're just gonna make things like this. Okay. <laughs> it's a wall of roots, so wall of roots is going to He's so fucking dead. The other one is being brought back, but to the same Yeah, you you destroy the land. Yeah, yeah, you, the wall of roots is gone. Remove all creature cards, graveyard from the game. Then sacrifice creatures. Ah, it comes back. Then sacrifice creatures, he wants to go. Ah no 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 no, never mind. It doesn't remove opponents. But has two four fours with flying, a seven seven, a four four that swamps walk. This is for Coronado. The street what uh, has a swamp. Uh, no way he's combine, no. Ah ring. So he has protection. And Thomas can attack, but he won't do any damage. Dude, the ring is disgusting, dude. Like Thomas should win already. He combo. I mean, Cascade is a stupid combo because it's a one-card combo. But you build the deck, it's more about building the deck around it. 
You better have some hate against one ring. Oof, he won one turn, dude. He's cycling with three white. What this thing does, because it's true, is when you cycle with this thing, it does something. I don't remember what. No, cycling on mystery. Ah, we just try. It's not a big deal, you don't have it because of that, but you just try one. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I know what they're discussing right now. Just try one, dude. It's, it's been a standard playable. You know, it's a, it wasn't a bad win con. And if you, if you didn't want to cast it, you could cycle it and hit those lands for one mana. So he's cry from the Sphinx. Oh, now he needs to draw. Ah, he has two Sphinx. Might be, might be. I mean, this is standard play. This is standard, you don't have two coming from a living end. <laughs> like you cast for free, but... You know? So you normally will only scry one per turn. He's gonna attack. Well, I don't know what for. Just trying to be made the wall of roots block or something, but yeah. He can see the angles. Up goes the one ring here. Two cards here for the Canadian. He's obviously taking this in his stride and having a good time down the feature match area. These two did seem to. So, has. Let's say if he has an on top land. It's four mana from the lands and one from the wall roots. They still can make one mana, but only once per turn. Another one ring. This, this is not good, Magic, dude. Magic is. Ooh! Bounce it back. This is a bounce, so he resolves it. Oh no, he's doing the spell. Return target spell on non land permanent and opponent control. Hmm, is that better than letting it resolve? He draws one less, letting it resolve. But he destroys the artifact. It doesn't matter if he's gonna draw again. He's gonna cast it again, rather. I guess it's better because on his next upkeep, uh, Daniel is gonna do two damage to himself. Okay, GG, no? How much damage is this? 4, 8. The street white is a 3, 4 or a 4, 4. 16 is so dead, no? No, the other is 7. Oh, there's a wild roots there, but can you dismember it? You can dismember it, no? It's GG, right? I mean, Thomas needs to check out. Just be sure of everything. Force on Negation, dismember the wild roots. And GG. Living end, dude. Six one, dude. Living end, dude. The people were saying the living end was decent, and Dredge was decent. The, all these decks that are very explosive, that use the graveyard. Even a living end doesn't bring it back with Dredge, but you put the creatures in the graveyard and then they bring it back. Because they were so worried with Trine Spheres, Dampen Spheres. Interaction versus Storm, Interaction versus Nadu with Rats. That people forgot the graveyard in, 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 in Modern and you cannot forget them in the graveyard in Modern. A lot of people are doing completely degenerate things.